Banca, Ecuador, Kazakhstan. Vamos à primeira luta da categoria peso médio até 75 quilos. Os juízes são representantes do Uzbequistão, Turquia, Sri Lanka, Equador e Cazaquistão. The referee from Vietnam. O árbitro é representante do Vietnã, Sr. Trong Nguyen Von. Please welcome the boxer in the red corner, representing Cuba. Por favor, receba o pugilista que ficará no canto vermelho, representante de Cuba, Arlen Lopes. Please welcome the boxer in the blue corner, representing France. Recebam também o pugilista que ficará no canto azul, representante da França, Christian Embili. Introducing the boxer in the red corner, representing Cuba. Apresentando o pugilista do canto vermelho, que representa Cuba, Arlen Lopes. Introducing the boxer in the blue corner, representing France. E apresentando o pugilista no canto azul, que representa a França, Christian Embeli. Okay, go ahead, get up, no holding, no holding. Round one. We're in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. We are at the quarterfinal stage of the tournament and this bout is being contested between boxers from France and Cuba. The boxer wearing blue onto the front foot and trying to walk down his man is Christian Mbili, 21 years of age, part of a 10 strong French boxing squad, eight men, two women. He's ranked number 56 in the world and this is his first Olympic Games. The man wearing red, well, he's the governor at 75 kilograms he's ranked number one in the world he's a tournament number one seed he's the reigning aiba world championship gold medalist and that is arlen lopez of cuba and a depth switch hitter a devastating puncher and this is his second bout of rio 2016 in what is the first olympic games for both of these boxes and billy here ron could be a victim of his own success because he's a front foot boxer and he's, he's had to come to come through two or three really exciting contests Two, two contests to be quite honest on his front foot forcing the pace and pressure and having to take a lot as well as landed punches but that will take its toll at some stage in a tournament like this and when you're in against the world number one then you need to be 100% in terms of your fitness so this is going to be a real test for the man in blue he's a tough nut no doubt but he's in against a, a quality performer in Lopez Lopez picking punches through the guard of the advancing Billy, but Billy wants to turn it into a phone booth war. But he's got to be careful that he doesn't walk onto a thunderous right uppercut out of or left uppercut because this man an adept switch hitter, Arlen Lopez. But he's incredibly physically strong, isn't Billy? And this is where he likes it to rumble away up at short and mid range. But look at the uppercuts crashing through the middle from the reigning world champ, a cracking right uppercut from Lopez. We talked about the hard contest that Mbili has had to this point, a unanimous points decision winner over Dmitry Mitrofanov in the first preliminary round, and then a really hard-fought encounter against the world number eight, Marlo Delgado of Ecuador, in his second bout. And he was so fatigued and drained at the end of that, he didn't even have, even have the energy to celebrate. The referee physically lifted his arm up, Mbili, but he's recovered well here, and he's boxing with alacrity on the front foot, 
plenty of effective, educated pressure. Lopez demonstrating patience, content to fight off the ropes. And Billy is definitely boxing his type of contest and dragging his opponent in, but Lopez is just showing you why he's probably world number one, because he doesn't throw a lot on the inside, but what he does throw, throw most of the shots that he throws sort of hits the target. He's more accurate with his work, eye-catching stuff, but this Frenchman just keeps coming. At some stage, Lopez might change his tactic and try to go long range, but at this sort of tempo, then it's suiting him, Billy. He keeps coming, the Frenchman. Repeated right uppercut success through the middle for Arlen Lopez. Now, what will the judges prefer? Will it be the quality punching of the man in red or the incessant industry of Christian and Billy at the conclusion of that first round? Success with that right uppercut there for Lopez, but in Billy just wouldn't be denied in that round, he kept coming, his feet are fairly square, lands with a good right uh, uppercut and a left hook combination there, the Frenchman. So he's strong, he's tough, and it's probably good tactics from the French, they've said to their man, get up to him, bulldozer him over type of thing, and uh, it's been effective. So and Billy tough. not getting a share for any of the judges. Judges A, B and C preferring, preferring the quality punch picking of the world number one. So into the second round we go then, and Christian Mbili of France, the reigning EU, European Union, European Championship gold medalist from 2014, has conceded the opening round across the board, kept running into repeated right uppercuts despite having good bursts of success around the body of Arlen Lopez, but Lopez is incredibly patient. By virtue of being the tournament number one seed, he had a bite in the first preliminary round and announced himself ex in explosive fashion in his second preliminary round bout with a devastating first round knockout, a single shot knockout of Zoltan Hawks of the two-time Olympian and reigning European Games bronze medalist. Left hand knocked his man into next week and so he didn't even get a round under his belt. So he's fresh. Whereas Billy has been in two physical attritional contests, but the man has recovered well because he's back onto the front foot, boxing in customary fashion, and he gets through with a good right uppercut of his own. First 45 seconds of this round, Lopez just increased the distance between himself and his opponent, just to give himself a bit more space, and I think that his corner would have told him to do that. But again, he's quite content to stand on the inside. He's probably boxing to his opponent's strengths, but he's still producing a little bit of quality on the inside, the Cuban. But there's more shots coming from the Frenchman. A little bit surprised with the scoring at the end of the first round. I thought he may have got one of the scores, but they obviously appreciate the more quality punching from the man in red. But uh, Billy, he's dangerous coming forward, and he's uh, incredibly strong on that front foot, this man in blue. And still he comes, forward, forward, ever forward and Billy, as inexorable as an ocean tide, trying to walk down his man and find a home for his punches, but he's in with an incredibly skillful operator, cracking right up a cut again from Lopez, but still, Billy firing punches from both flanks. The art of infighting is to, when you're on the inside, to land quality shots, but then try and create a bit of space and gap and then go again. So you can't stay on the inside for too long because you, you tend to walk onto shots like that one there. So on Billy, although he's strong, Ron, this is his type of fight, he just tends to stand and trade a little bit too long. He has a, an attitude of, I'm prepared to take a punch to land a couple. And sometimes, like here, that isn't the right way. Slowing down just a little bit now, and it's unsurprising given the amount of punches that he's taken. But the energy of this man, that's a good right hook around the corner from him, Billy. But he took a couple of little nudging uppercuts in between. But Lopez looks so calm, despite the hailstorm of punches coming in his direction. His expression never changes, he's never panicked, and he's always got his eyes on the prize. All action round of boxing in this 75 kilogram middleweight quarterfinal.
So this, we're looking at the contest in a nutshell, really. And Billy, arcing punches around the side. And that's the best punch of the round from Billy. The right hook around the corner, but there, repeated right uppercut success for Lopez. And he takes the second round across the board, and Billy needs a second massive round. round. He needs to find a finishing punch or utterly dominate his man to get back on terms. So into the third and final round we go. Christian and Billy of France, the reigning national champion. He's trailing by two, but he's come out energized to begin the third and final round. Landing good, effective punches around the belt line of the Cuban boxer. Good left hook to the body once again. Tries it from the right flank before turning it into an uppercut. But again, Lopez not one to panic. So calm in there in the boxing ring. It's deflating actually from Billy. He's boxing his fight and yet the, probably the better quality work is coming from the Cuban, the more accurate shots. And Billy though getting through, give him credit, keeps coming, throwing plenty of punches, volume of punches are coming from the man in blue. But probably the better quality shots coming from the man in red. And he probably sending out a message here to every other middleweight in the division. I can stand and trade on the inside as well as box at distance. So and that's why he's world number one. Remember, a place on the Olympic medal podium is the prize that awaits the victory in this particular bout. It's the quarter-final stage, and that is why and Billy is competing so doggedly. Refusing to take a backward step. Couple of good right hands jolting the head back of Lopez. And that backward movement accentuated by the... Not quite sure whether that qualifies as a man bun. But it's an elaborate hairstyle being sported by the world number one. And still, and Billy trying to come forward, but for the first time in the contest, he's being forced back. Nice change of angle by the man in blue as he gets back onto the front foot once again. But he's slowing down, but he keeps letting his hands go. Terrific conditioning and will and desire being exhibited by Christian and Billy. This makes you wonder, Ronald, with those two hard-fought contests they had earlier in the tournament, it'd have been a little bit fresher in this one because he's managing to box his style of, uh, of fight and he's given Lopez all sorts of problems but Lopez, as you say, is very calm on the inside there's no panic, he's got a good guard and he's just waiting to now and again he counter-attack so he beats Mbilly to the shot but he's certainly effective on the inside, Mbilly Well, this is going to be a victory for the man in red unless Mbilly can find the finishing shot and even though it's been comfortable it's such a physical encounter that Lopez will know that he's been in a contest here. The quarter-final scheduled for three days' time, so they'll have time to recover. And now and Billy just running into straight shots as Lopez finally gets some distance between himself and his man. Because otherwise, and Billy has been in his chest, shadowing him for the entire three, three minutes. And a little bit of a crowd-pleasing exchange in the final seconds that's a brilliant contest in the 75 kilogram middleweight division but there could be little doubt that the world number one Arlen Lopez of Cuba will be going through to the medal stages in the 75 kilogram middleweight division this man deserves immense credit gave absolutely everything in pursuit of what of what, what would have been an upset victory over Arlen Lopez seldom took a backward step managed to impose his style of boxing on the contest but ultimately the superior quality of punches being favored by the judges and he trailed by two points at the conclusion of round number two couldn't find a finishing shot that he need he may as well have he may well have taken this third and final round across the board but it won't be enough to overturn the two-point disadvantage that he faced after round number two but a terrific advert, because Lopez, in his opening contest, demonstrated his devastating punch power. Anybody who's watched him over the years, compiling that impressive 13-2 ledger in World Series boxing, knows Ladies how good he is at range. Here's the announcement. The winner, by unanimous decision, 
Senhoras e senhores, o vencedor por decisão unânime no canto vermelho, In the red representando Cuba, Arlen Lopes. So Arlen Lopez of Cuba, the number one seed, the number one ranked boxer in the world, a unanimous points decision victor, victor over Christian and Billy of France. The reigning EU European Championship gold medalist eliminated is this man taking a bow to all sides of the arena here at Rio Centro Pavilion 6 who goes through to the medal bouts, the medal stages guaranteed at least a bronze but he wants nothing less than Olympic gold to go with the World Championship gold he won in Doha last year.